This is what he used to look like in 2017. He seemed to be pretty mentally, you know, sound. He was even extremely good at an instrument. I think it was the violin, if I remember correctly. He was- Was? Was extremely good? Or still is extremely good? Okay, at all. People have been saying for the last couple years that Nakano Avocado is literally killing himself for YouTube views, and it's absolutely true. <laughs> He is slowly killing himself and documenting the journey the entire time while having an understanding of exactly what he's doing. He's well aware that he is throwing away his health, his well-being, his happiness. <laughs> Because you know, if I'm already this fat, what's there else to lose besides, well, besides my life? But forget that part. I don't like being alone. I would love to go back in time like 20 years and try to explain the concept of Nikocado to someone. It wouldn't make any sense at all to them because he could only exist in today's world. 2021 is almost over and the allure of Nikocado is alive and well, if not the strongest it has ever been. Once a year, Nikocado does something especially over the top and then there's a round of videos that are titled Nikocado Needs Help. So what happens is everyone watches those videos and, they, and they're like, yes, he does need help. Let's, let's help him. Let's go dislike bomb all of his videos. The problem is Nikocado thrives when he believes he is being perceived as the villain. He's like the Christian Leitner of mukbang YouTubers. He's gone so far into this character that he's created that he may be as confused as us as to what's real or not. Now, we all know that Nikocado definitely needs help, so I figured, like everyone else, that the best way to help him is to make a video about him. Recently, the very popular YouTuber Penguins Zero, or Moist Critical, or Charlie, or Huge Charles, or whatever the hell other name he goes by, he made a video bringing attention to the entire situation entitled it, This YouTuber is Slowly killing himself for views. Now this guy has over 9 million subscribers, so I figured this would be the end of it. Nikocado would see that another popular YouTuber wants him to stop, and he would be like, oh, oh wow, clearly now it's it's gone too far, I need to stop. But it turns out more people went and watched Nikocado's videos. I, how could anyone have seen that coming? So now, Nikocado had some content for a couple days. He pulled 812,000 views off of a 41 minute response to Penguin's video. Naturally, that meant Charlie had to respond again, which he pulled 7.6 million views off. Of. And then Nikocado responded again more than one time, and it was at this point I forgot how this all started. In the description, Nikocado has linked his merch, Patreon, everything he's ever done. He's linked. I'm no Einstein, but I think it is fair to assume that at least a handful of people that found out about Nikocado through Penguin's channel ended up buying his merch or joining his Patreon. So in a way, they're just promoting each other, and Nikocado, of course, doesn't get any help out of this, and they both win and we all lose. Now, I'm not trying to act like I'm any different or any better. I just think it's all funny and worth pointing out. All Nikocado needed to do was put on a CPAP mask and then the entire internet exploded. And like I said, it comes once a year. It's like a holiday. Every year it comes around again. All the commentary channels, including myself, start talking about him. This video came out a year ago to this day. And I, I swear I didn't even realize that when I said that last part. There is a four and a half hour documentary about Nikocado. There is more Nikocado content on the internet than there is time to watch all of that content. And that doesn't even make any sense. But somehow it's true. So at this point, you might be asking yourself, what the hell is the point of this video? Well, for the next hour and a half, we're going to be dissecting every little detail that was said back and forth between Penguins and Nikocado. Also, I will be recapping the four and a half hour documentary by the channel The Right Opinion. Well, in my opinion... <laughs> This guy completely missed out on like 95% of the details about Nikocado. Four and a half hours is not a long enough time to explain everything. I guess four and a half hours is about the length of a mini series, but here's what I was thinking. Full on Netflix series, multiple seasons. If no one's on board with that though, I actually made my own and it clocked out at almost 14 hours. I used about an hour of that time to analyze the incident where Orlin threw a shoe at Nikocado's head. So anyway, let's begin our analysis of Nikocado in video essay form. Ouch, ouch. Ouch! Ouch! 
So recently, Nick started wearing the mask for his CPAP machine in the thumbnails and during the video. He also talks about having broken ribs and being bed bound now for the next week. Now, I'm not even going to bother to try to figure out what's real and what's not. Instead, I'm going to watch this video of Orlin losing his mind in his car. Hi! 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 We are happy in this channel! What has Nikocado done to this man? This is what happens when a person spends an extended amount of time with Nikocado. It's funny because people used to feel bad for Orlin in the whole situation, but then they, they both just turned into the same person, and after about eight months of food being shoved into each other's faces, I think people just got sick of both of them. At the same time, I am a sucker for content about people flipping out in their car and then proceeding to eat multiple hoagies. Okay, so I was very hungry. I've been on a diet. I've only been eating fruit for the past couple months. Fruit for the past couple months? Damn, that can't be easy. Don't touch me! <clears throat> you know, people might make fun of him now, but history will look back on Nick Akato as a pioneer. In 300 years, there will be statues of Nick in Orleans sitting there devouring Mr. Beast Burger in the center of every town. <laughs> I'm not talented enough to do this, but someone should make a video where Nikocado is flipping out and then it, it zooms out and it's actually his face on his own shirt and he's flipping out in a different place this time, but wearing that shirt and then it zooms out again and it's actually just, does that even, would that work? I Who is this person? Who are you? Who are you? Who is this? What I find funny about this whole situation with Charlie is that he put in the description, this is the greatest attention seeking of all time. And he's definitely right about that because, uh, well, it worked, didn't it? This person thought it would be cute to sit down on the computer and talk about my weight and my appearances. This is the exact response I was expecting from Nick Akato. I mean, did anyone really expect him to have a sudden change of heart? Because I happen to have a little water weight because I happen to be a little fluffy. This is an unfluffy person. Unfluffy! So like I said earlier, Charlie made a response video to this response video, and in that he basically said, wow, Nick Akato didn't take anything I said seriously, and he's still just in character doing his usual shtick. So that blew over, they both got a lot of views out of it, and Nick is back to doing his usual thing, and I guess we will all see each other next year. The thing is, if that time comes, and Nick is still doing what he is doing now, there will be nothing new to discuss. It has been nine months since the last Nick Akato video I've made, and nothing has changed. I don't really have anything new to say. Very self-conscious now, because of Penguin that I decided to have a smaller snack tonight. All right, I take back everything I said earlier. It looks like he actually is being healthy. He's motivated himself to eat only two bags full of fast food instead of six. The thing is, this is the amount that he normally eats. In this video, he just decided not to break out all the empty bags and boxes that he saves to make it look like he ordered more than he actually did. It's crazy because people that are self-conscious about this kind of thing would want to be hiding the food they're eating, but he actually wants it to look like there's more. In the same way that he wants people to look at this thumbnail and assume that he's some sort of fast food devouring medical experiment. Isn't it funny that if someone knocked on the door right now and asked what the hell he's doing in there, it wouldn't be a lie to say that he's working? The other day, he went to the doctors wearing a shirt that says, my weight is a medical mystery. Every little catchphrase of his is turned into a t-shirt, which he then makes a lot of money off of, I would assume. No matter what you think of Nick Akato, the man knows how to run a business, and if demand exists for stuff like this, then I guess we're gonna get it. In his video, Charlie actually mentioned that he agrees with Nick Akato to an extent that it is the audience's fault. I find this very strange, just because something is getting a lot of views and is making you very unhealthy at the same time, that does not mean you have to keep doing it just because it's making you money or, or giving you success. Now, I do truly honestly believe that Nick Akato plans to turn his life around at some point and make his channel a weight loss journey. I know nobody likes Keemstar, but he's one of the only people who can actually get Nick to do interviews, so I watched that and that's exactly what Nick says he's planning on doing. The problem is, I don't know if he knows when to stop. Yeah, you've, you've grown this amazing channel. You have to do this full 180 and you gotta turn your channel into a fitness channel. Well, I have to eat first. I, I have to eat first. So there you have it. I have to eat first. That little sentence, I think, summarizes Nick pretty well, and I think it's a good spot to end the video. Hopefully, a year from now, all the commentary channels will be talking about how his entire life has been changed, and he is now trying to get healthy. Anyway, that's all I got for you. See you next year.